here is everything you need to know as a security analyst. Get out your text editor of choice and start taking notes. Sublime is better than VS Code. Write that down, write that down! No, no, but seriously, I've come a long way since my first security analyst job, and I've done enough malware battles. Booter, use CrowdStrike! And I've evolved into my next form, a senior <laughs> security analyst. So here is everything that I believe anyone thinking of going into security analyst work should know to even remotely have a shot at landing a job these days. Let's begin. Now, if I left anything out on this list, please comment down below. It's going to help everyone if you comment. Computer basics in every operating system. How are files stored? What is the file system like? Have an understanding of different file types. Zip, rare, executables, PDFs, CSVs, BAT. I live in the shadows. All the types. I identify as a JPEG. He lied to me. What do all these processes in Task Manager do? Now you don't have to memorize them, but you do have to know what the actual is going on here. What the purpose of a Windows registry is. What parts of the registry control what things. Like startup processes. As in the processes that start up when you boot up your computer. What are device drivers? What do they do? Why are they needed? Where do newly installed programs go on all operating systems? And where are all the remnants of said programs? Linux commands, Linux file paths. <laughs> where are the passwords stored? Where do user accounts live? And for Mac OS, know that it exists. Did you learn how this operating system works? I guess, but these are not targeted very often, largely in part due to how, by default, they are less customizable than Windows, all because Steve Jobs is a pretentious <laughs> who was like, My design is perfect! No one shan't change it! How programs, software, applications, scripts work. After all, operating systems are just convoluted and complicated scripts running in tandem. At the end of the day, code is just made up of zeros and ones. All they are is dust in the wind. Beyond how the computer's operating system and programs work, you need to, of course, know networking. What are IPs? What are IPv6s? Because, by the way, we used all the available IPv4 addresses in 2019. How are these IPs assigned? And why is it important to how the internet works? Behold, the internet! My God, it's full of ads. Subnetting. Specifically, how are networks broken up using subnetting and VLANs? How do networks traverse the internet via protocols like TCP, UDP, ICMP, PPTP, LTP? Those are VPN related. Why does my mom not know how to reset her router? Typically built-in security tools like firewalls and built-in operating system antivirus. Looking at you, Windows Defender. I love everything. You suck. Fire Actually, it's pretty good. How do firewalls prevent and identify stinky bad doo-doo faces trying to get into our network and drop their malware load. Very basic understanding of how to use and how security tools like SIMs, EDRs, IDS, IPS, packet inspecting tools like Wireshark, and network and computer scanning tools like Nessus, Nmap, etc. How do these work? Again, very basic understanding of these tools. As in, you did a module in TriHackMe, and you can explain it like I'm five to people in job interviews. Knowing how they work is important because if your security tool, your SIM, your EDR, identifies such activity as scanning, then it's good to know what that is. Anything that is related to cybersecurity requires problem solving and the ability to quickly research and learn something you don't 100% know. It's impossible to memorize how everything in the tech space works. There's too many god dang software and security tools. We can't just learn them all. But being able to research and learn quickly on the fly is Critical. Moist critical. Put miss input. Calm down. You calm the f down. So again, the basics. Do you need to know how to configure a SIM or EDR? Hell no. But that's the security engineer's job. Do you need to know how to click around in the user interface in your SIM and EDR? Yes. Yes, you do. But that's child's play, and that's why the security engineers make more money. They set up the tools, and security analysts just use the tools. Again, Try Hack Me has modules for that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Hacking is easy. Come on, get on there, folks. But knowing the basics is only important in learning. The TTPs. Time to penis. No, 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 not that. No, that is funny, but not that. These are the tactics, techniques, and procedures 
that malicious actors utilize and used in a cyber attack. Now, 50% of the job is knowing how the things work, and the other 50% is knowing how those things can be exploited and maliciously used to achieve their goals. While the list here is comprehensive, don't worry, it doesn't take that long to memorize. You just need a good mnemonic device. My favorite mnemonic device is Google. So all the hard work you did to learn the basics is now then used to understand how files, file paths, registry paths, scheduled tasks, networking protocols, ports, packets, what have you, all the things can be used by malware, viruses, that one crazy hacker to effectively gain access to a computer if you're a hacker or to spread and infect as many endpoints in the environment as you can if you're malware. Say the magic word. Please! God damn it! Hate this hacker! While hackers have typical methods of gaining access and keeping access, you should also understand how usually the biggest threat as far as infection to an endpoint is different schools of malicious code. It's usually not going to be a zero-day attack from Korea or Russia. We're talking about viruses, worms, ransomware, Trojan horses, spyware, adware, rootkits, fileless malware, and every other malicious code that can make it to your pooter and make your security team go or nar, or nar. And lastly, the things that you need to be aware of once you know all those things, is of course the core principles of security. Why do we do the things we do? Everyone loves to on the security plus because it's a memory dump exam full of questions like what wireless protocol doesn't require the password to connect wps or which of the following type of attack is taking place but again 50 percent of the job is knowing what can and has historically been used by anyone or anything attempting to infect and otherwise break into your computer so people might think memorizing all these concepts is stupid but in reality you're just familiarizing yourself so should you see something in your environment that then jogs your memory from when you you are cramming for an exam you're gonna be like oh shit i know that they're trying to break in using this vulnerability or exploit i just gotta check for this kind of activity and my boss will give me a raise for sure oh yeah it's all coming together ah uh, yeah right so yeah anything beyond what i covered is extra in how a junior analyst or SOC level one analyst operates these days and does their day-to-day -day work. I've had around 10 interviews now in my lifetime for security analyst positions. I talked to a handful of analysts about their previous first time security jobs. And I've researched this a painfully long amount of time throughout the process of making videos for this channel. So this is really all you need to know to stand a chance out there. So if you've got a solid understanding of everything I mentioned here, polish up that turd you call a resume and start applying. The job market sucks right now, but it only takes one bite on a job listing before you're getting alert fatigue making $25 to $35 an hour. <laughs>